Now, as any gardener knows, snails are not the fastest moving creatures on the planet, even if they can steadily munch their way through your prized carnations. But scientists have now managed to track the secret life of the snail by making them glow in the dark. And hold on to your hats, they can apparently reach speeds of up to a metre an hour. Cordelia Lynch follows the trail. Welcome to the snail rave. Turns out these guys can move, and further than we thought, sliding the length of an average British garden in just one night. All it took was LED lights, some day glow paint, and these students, with a bit of help from this man. At night, if we've lit them up with LED lights or with UV paint, they kind of emerge from the undergrowth and it shows us that they are hiding in long grass and in nooks and crannies in walls, at the bases of trees, near ponds. They are, they could be anywhere in your garden and understanding that I think is quite important. Especially if you own one of these. Snails carry a deadly lungworm parasite for dogs if they eat them. It seems we've underestimated the might of the mollusk. They look pretty benign though, don't they? I know, but you, you see how you plant out some beans or something like that and you can come back the next day and they are just pretty much destroyed. So, What did yeah. you think seeing them in all their day glow glory <laughs> racing across the garden? I thought they looked really impressive. They can shimmy up to 25 metres in 24 hours and use up to 30% of their energy in slime production alone. They're on the rise too. According to the Royal Horticultural Society, their numbers increased by 50% last year. So Tom, you surprised to hear they move so quickly? Yes, he's looking at my watch at the, at the moment. Um, <laughs> he, he's, he's timing himself, I think. <laughs> We've had races with them and uh, they, they, they go slow, but they get there. But it's hardly a solo sprint to the finish. Rather than break a sweat, they like to piggyback on the slime of others to conserve energy. Who can blame them? They've got a home to carry. Yes, they're slow, but not as slow as we'd like to think. I've got a whole new respect for what they did to my delphiniums now.